what them call them fathers. That's what them call themselves. It them claim say it boss out said them was abusing one over over two decades. Oh, no, not over two decades. Over a period of seventy years, they had molested one thousand children. And the church was covering it up. Now a big guy in the church, one of the big bishop them, who was like next to the Pope, he was like him angry certain things than the Pope. Them find out say he was molesting children. And Pope Francis didn't know. But he never said nothing. So them know them are investigate Pope Francis now. I tell you, you know, tomorrow news that, you know. Tomorrow news that. They might investigate Pope Francis because it is said that him did know and never say nothing. It's like see I'm blind here and see it again. So we come around to the see I'm blind here and deaf. The see I'm blind here and deaf. Them say Pope Francis didn't know so the things that are going on over a period of time with this bishop here, so the bishop. I forgot what them cardinal or whatsoever them call themselves. And him never did have said nothing about it. So, a guy bust on him. <laughs> One of the bishop they bust on Pope Francis. This is a man who is a vicar of Christ, you know. This is a man who, when him talk, some things when him say come from God, some things when him say come from him. But the thing when him, when him say come from God is law. And it is written down in the Catholic Church as law. Black people, black people, even if you don't want to talk about rituals and all these things, because you have Africans have some very archaic laws and rituals. I bet you will deal with phone thing and go deal with them thing. Because what has their thing done to us? More than put it deeper and deeper in the quagmire of madness. That is where do to you. So many, so many ones come. In other name. And then when them really reach a certain level, they realize about wait. This thing here, even the man when named Martin Luther King. Even Martin Luther King. I may tell you say, me have a bridge in the pathway. Me and him you see in a whole heap of argument. And even him, even him, did I realize there's something wrong, man? Oh, me I said this thing, I realize that these people do have no sense. And he must know that because I talk to them every week. And then I realize about wait, something wrong. I saw them people are reason so. It's like they can't move. Them opinion is full stop. They don't know, say, Life is an ongoing revelation. And certain things reveal to you over and over. And you have to sieve it out. You can't just like, go on and go on and go on like say, where you there is where is the is, is the definitive place. Not no go so in life. And most most younger people not understand that. That's why them say experience teach wisdom. Knowledge is not wisdom. Knowledge is where you acquire through learning. Wisdom is where you acquire through experience. So when you have the knowledge of the thing, that's why you have a school where you have the theory and then you're going to the lab and you get the practical. The practical now lead you to an experience where you do certain things. A squared plus B squared, this, C, that, that, MX, this, that, that. And you come to an understanding that this, if you mix up that and that, you're going to get that. But in the room, you theorize, theorize, theorize. The theory law must be the right thing. So knowledge, knowledge is where you go to school if you acquire. But you have to use that knowledge now in your life experience. That makes you sensible. And I will you probably not sensible. Because we have follow back how everybody and follow back everything. We are like the, 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 the dog. Or the cow. You know, you put the dog in a pen or you tie the cow. 
And all when you let go the comb, go back to the same spot. So you know you'll have a bother tie him up again. Just like the dog. The dog, you know, this place so long that all when you open the gate, him go back in at the place without even you are telling him. So one of the times you can't lift all the gate to open and him knock outside. I saw somewhere where I move. I saw somewhere where I move. The gate open. And then we are look for see if we can come out. Of course, you can't come out. The gate open and I like the gate close. And then somehow we close up our mind. And that is the tragedy. The tragedy. Black, so, black, Mr. Black, <laughs> white supremacy. Catch me so much now. That we, we don't want to think. Not that we can't think, you know. We don't want to think for ourselves. We want somebody to think for we and then put it in our head. And then we just move on like zombie. Then I know where we're going or where we're coming from. The greatest weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. Yeah, this is the cutting edge on IRFM going through the pieces as we usually do. We want to play this to the people. I'm, I'm bald. So, so here's the thing. You're, I'm, I'm 53. And so racism is, is generational, meaning that racism has changed over the years from what it used to be in the 60s and the 70s, even in the 80s. Racism these days is more subtle. My concern, my fear, I have a 30-year-old son and a 24-year-old daughter. My concern for them is that this generation is angry but this generation isn't getting together to collectively do something about the issue. So while my generation was about the awareness, you have to be aware, you have to go out there, you have to create the movement. We would sit in, sit out, stand up, stand out. This generation is like, well, I really don't need to do that because I can sit anywhere I want to. I can live anywhere I want to. I can go anywhere that I want to. This is the thing. The mentality of the individuals who practice racism has not changed. The only thing that's changed is the way in which they express it. Racism is something that is taught. You are taught, don't like that person because they're black. If you look at two little children, three, four, five children playing in a park, they want to play because they're all little kids. They get older and they're told, no, you can't do this. Timmy can't play with Jaquanda. It just doesn't happen. Chica, get out of the road. This is New York. So the issue is that this generation needs to recognize, even though you think you can live anywhere, you try moving into an all-white neighborhood where they really don't want you, the cross will come. They will still burn it. So it's not that we can truly live anywhere we want to. It's just that we have more areas that we can live. The reason that we're not as dedicated as a group to fighting the issue of racism is because before we were all subjected to live in one location, in one area. We supported each other in our black businesses. That's why you had black millionaires. What do we do now? We give other people our money. If all black people stopped going to the movie theater, guess what? None of those movies that are hits would be hits. Why? Because ain't nobody go to the movies like black folks. We spend our money. But we don't go to see our movies. We go to see other people's movies. And so they say, since nobody goes to see black movies and they go we're not going to make any black movies back in the day when you could only go to the all negro theater guess what everybody went everybody supported it now that we have choices we've left our people behind so my recommendation my suggestion my commitment my prayer my hope for your generation is love what you're doing but you got to recognize that the power is in the numbers the power is in doing it together the power is in being a collective cohesive unit which we're not other races recognize that about us and so from even a financial perspective of how we spend money that's where the racism comes into play they won't go into our stores but they want our money they won't come into our neighborhoods, but they want us to spend money in their neighborhoods. They won't come into a black car dealership, but who are the ones who drive some of the very, very expensive cars? So it's not that we don't have the money. We just need to be educated about how we spend it because we have more power than we realize. We just don't know how to utilize and wield that power. If black people, nobody else but black people decided that they were going to stop for one day, a 24-hour period, to stop spending, they would be amazed that 
the impact they would have. But no matter how much black people get together and say they're going to do that, there's always somebody somewhere who is like, I'm going to go to that gas station anyway. I'm going to go to that place anyway. And that's why it doesn't change and it doesn't end. But make no mistake, racism in America is alive and well. It has not died. It has not changed. This experience that my daughter had three weeks ago in Stone Mountain shows me that there's a whole other generation of people out there uh, proposing racism, supporting it. They truly believe in it. The next time you're in a mall and a white person bounces into you, see if they say sorry. They don't even see you. They don't know you're there. So it's not that they're being rude. Honestly, they don't see you. It's called being invisible. I'm not American. This has been an amazing experience for me coming to this country as an adult, having children in a society that I don't know anything about, coming from a country where everybody is black and we don't refer to people by color. You have to learn how to adapt to this environment. My request of your generation is explore outside the boundaries of America because what it is that you're trying to do, it may not necessarily survive here, but there are other places where you can truly live, be powerful, be wonderful, be free but having to do that in America is going to take far, far more, far more time far more commitment, far more collective cohesive movement than this place has ever been seen and there aren't enough people who are aware of that to be able to do it together but understand this, racism has not died and will never die if you know the history of America yes, original Vernon's beer music you know a long time I look for that clip here, you know I'm just find it back believe you me, I want to listen to this seriously you know this is one of the most serious clips you ever hear we play I want you to listen to this. Seriously. Okay. Okay. Here we go now. Absolutely staggering what you can get out of it. Yogurt. Thing. Yes. I have a list. Christian Meinderstma wrote a book called Pig 05049, which is an anonymous pig. And beyond the obvious foodstuffs, she found different parts of this animal offered the following pork derivatives. From the skin alone, safety gloves, cosmetic surgery, collagen, comes from pig skin, oh. energy bars, which also have collagen in, low-fat butter, chewing gum, x-ray film, drug capsules, bread, flour improver made from pig hair, would you believe? Oh. Flour, I know. The skin is also used for tattoo practice. Um, <laughs> and ballistic gelatin. That's just the skin, and then there's the internal organs, pet food, uh, tambourine skins are made from a pig's bladder. Tam for the old uh, tambourine. I knew those uh, folkies were evil. Yeah. <laughs> Many thousands of people were alive because of the pig's valve from their heart. From the bones, cheap wine corks, would you believe? Stabilizing propellant and bullet making, inkjet paper, concrete, match heads, uh, bone china, train brakes, yogurt, which you correctly mentioned. What's a train break? Like, stopping a train. For the yeah, stopping it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's basically a trotter out. Uh, he, just, he just leans forward. A fabric softener. Who knew? Beer, wine, ice cream. From the fat, biodiesel, soap, shampoos, crayons. Uh, from the blood, cigarette filters, amazingly. Toothpaste. And also paintbrushes. Chemical weapons testing. The ears are used in chemical we weapons <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> I should hasten to add that not all toothpaste and not all yogurt contain it. But if you are a Muslim or Jewish, you've got a hell of a problem discovering what's yeah. got there. You have your work cut out. You have your work cut out like a silhouettist. <laughs> According to Bloomberg, there are 42 major areas of manufacturing that entirely rely on pork products. It's quite astonishing what that one animal can do. Now, it's the only farmyard animal, if you discount truffle hunting, that is only useful when dead. Wow. Okay. So... For those of you who really miss what we're going on, so is the man I explain to you all the different products that pig, whether the skin or the internal organs, a whole heap of different products is made from pig. And I'm still not all out a whole heap of them still, you know, because I can't tell you about some too, but the well, the Jews, Muslim, Rasta, you know, a whole heap of ones kind of want to shun away from the pig. And as a matter of fact, we see some man have on some shoes who are definitely pig skin. Definitely pig skin. Definitely pig skin. Very popular shoes. We are pig skin. 
And we see a whole of people have it on. Who, well, I don't know a whole of people now. Rasta, Rasta. It's ignorant, so you don't have it. You, so you have it on because you don't know. So we're going to make you know now and see what's going to happen. So we're going to play it again. Because we need for your ear exactly where we get ourselves in it too, because them have we, them have we. And I laugh to you know, say, yeah, man, yeah, them talk about them now, this and pig, this and pig, that. And look there, them I use it in a them toothpaste. We wash them out every morning. And I wear it. All right, so make we go it again. Make we play it again. It's absolutely staggering what you can get out of yogurt. Yes, I have a list. Christian Meinderstma wrote a book called Pig 05049, which is an anonymous pig. And beyond the obvious foodstuffs, she found different parts of this animal offered the following pork derivatives. From the skin alone, safety gloves, cosmetic surgery, collagen, comes from pig skin, oh. energy bars, which also have collagen in, low-fat butter, chewing gum, x-ray film, drug capsules, bread, flour improver made from pig hair, would you believe? Oh, flour, yeah. I know. The skin is also used for tattoo practice. Um, <laughs> and ballistic gelatin. That's just the skin, and then there's the internal organs, pet food, uh, tambourine skins are made from a pig's bladder. Tambourine, your old uh, tambourine. I knew uh, those folkies were evil. Yeah. <laughs> Thousands of people are alive because of a pig's valve from their heart. From the bones, cheap wine corks, would you believe? Stabilizing propellant and bullet making, inkjet paper, concrete, match heads, uh, bone china, train brakes, yogurt, which you correctly mentioned. What's a train break? Like it's when stopping you just a stop train. Them for the yeah, weekend. it's stopping it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just, <laughs> just, he just leans forward. Fabric softener. Who knew? Beer, wine, ice cream. From the fat, biodiesel, soap, shampoos, crayons. Uh, from the blood, cigarette filters, amazingly. Toothpaste. And also paintbrushes. Chemical weapons testing. The ears are used in chemical we weapons testing. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> I should hasten to add that not all toothpaste and not all yogurt contain it. But if you are a Muslim or Jewish, you've got a hell of a problem discovering what's yeah. got You have it. your work cut out. You have your work cut out like a silhouettist. <laughs> According to Bloomberg, there are 42 major areas of manufacturing that entirely rely on pork products. It's quite astonishing what that one animal can do. Now, it's the only farmyard animal, if you discount truffle hunting, that is only useful when dead. Black is beautiful. And we can't stop the narrative there because there's some people who would want us to say, just like what them have Black Lives Matter, the counteraction to that is All Lives Matter. I mean, really, we really don't know, say, All Lives Matter. But in the narrative, when you look upon the people, them who police are shoot down in America, the reason why it come, come up is because a lot of youth was being shot, a whole of black youth was shot down in America. And the people, them who know that all life matter, is trying to say, yeah, black, black life matter too, so black life matter. But we hear some like that black people come up and say, all life matter, of course, all life matter, all the cow where you eat, all life matter. You can imagine the cow them a ball. Yeah, so that's about people. They want to be. All the goat them. Goat them a ball out. So I'm to uh, uh, not about our life matter. A people life on that they will not have life too. <coughs> a serious thing. So we have to watch it. Oh them paint the picture. Wooly by the things them. Wooly by the things them where we take. Just like that, without question it. Like see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. And then you have a man tell you say Where well, I no say art no leap <laughs> It a happen though. You could have shut your eye it a happen. I no see it but the art leap because when you open your eye and see it or hear it, you know say something wrong. Anyway, the time is 12 o'clock in a Jamaica. Yeah, this is the Cotton Edge and I refer to with you. Africans.
to seek to regain their independence from the colonial masters. Historians will remind us that we were first enslaved, that Africans were taken, and this we seldom say, the first civilization to take Africans out of this continent were the Arabs. And they took Africans from the eastern coast. And it is sad that in that part of the world, there are not many Africans who remained because it was in the business of the Arab enslaver to castrate Africans. We never say that, but we must say it because it is historically significant. Then the Europeans came, the Portuguese came, the Spaniards came, the Germans came, the French came, the Belgians came. Africa became the hunting ground for the European colonizers. And we were the spot. We built, our ancestors built the United States of America. Our ancestors built Europe. And when slavery had lost its shine and sheen, the Europeans abolished it. But they replaced it with yet another pernicious enterprise, the colonization of Africa. The Europeans sat in Berlin, in Germany, in 1884, and they looked at the map of Africa and puzzled it out. The British had their share, the Germans had their share, and Tanzania or Tanganyika was their share, as was Rwanda and Urundi. The Spaniards were Johnny come lately in the arena, and they got little Equatorial Guinea and Southwest Africa. The French were here, the Portuguese were here, and we were colonized. This time round, they did not take us away. They came here, and they controlled us, and they told us, not in so many words, that we were children of a lesser God. <laughs> and we were treated as if we were children of a lesser God. In fact, they told us that on the day of creation, we were merely hewers of wood and drawers of water. And if anybody were to doubt it in 1948, it was more blatant when Hendrik Fafut instituted the apartheid regime in South Africa. But yet there is a sense in which the God that we worship never sleeps. The colonial enterprise ran its course. And the European tribes, the Europeans never called themselves tribes, they called them nations, were engaged in a war. First in 1918, the European tribes fought. And they had something called the League of Nations, which died. Then they fought again in 1945. And what is unique about the European nations is that when they are engaged in tribal wars, they call them wild wars. <laughs> so there was another war between 1945, 1939 and 1945. And after that, a new kid on the block, the United States of America, took the lead in saying that colonialism was something that was undesirable. But at that time, Africans were never quiet. Those who had been taken out had already started agitating. Many of us here will remember Marcus Garvey, of whom Bob Marley says, Garvey was a buffalo soldier in the heart of America. <laughs> and many of us will remember W.E.B. Du Bois. Many of us will remember that they started
started agitating that Africans must regain their dignity and their independence. And indeed in 1847 in Liberia, a small group of Africans were brought back in Monrovia and Liberia became the first independent black nation in the continent of Africa. So soon thereafter in Sierra Leone, they also created yet another colony. But Africa was colonized except Ethiopia, which they tried to take in 1938 and exiled Professor Dr. Hale Selassie and unfortunately they were defeated as you remember in the Battle of Adowa. Africa can defeat European tribes. This history is necessary that we are able to appreciate the freedom that we gained. So that Gavi came, W.E.B. Du Bois came, but there was another crop after the 1940s who had had the advantage of European education. And there were people in Europe also who are beginning to recognize that indeed equality was necessary. And this was not anything new. In 1776 in the United States of America, the American states sitting in Philadelphia in the United States of America declared unto themselves that all men are born equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain and unalienable rights, that among those are life liberty and the pursuit of happiness. A few years later in France, after the revolution, they also recognized that we were to be equal so that the colonized nations which had now taken Africans thought that they were safe. They had taken Leopold Sedar Senghor from Senegal to Paris and they thought that they were creating a little Frenchman Little did they know that they were creating somebody who would want to overthrow them. They took Félix Oufé Boigny from Côte d'Ivoire and they thought that they were creating somebody who would be subservient to them. They took Ahmed Seko Touré and Modibo Keita and they thought they were safe. Little did they know that they were creating the future leaders and agitators against French colonization. And it did not stop there. The Portuguese also took Agostino Neto and Amilcar Cabral and Eduardo Monlein to Lisbon. Little did they know that those individuals would be the catalyst that would be necessary in the process of decolonization. The British also had their fair share. They took others. They took Mwalimu Kambarage Nyerere, Hastings Kamuzu Banda, Kenneth David Kaunda and many others to the United Kingdom, Jomo Kenyatta. Little did they know that those would be the individuals who sometimes later, and in Ghana, of course, they took the Osegefo, Kwame Nukuruma, and in Nigeria, they took Dr. Namdi Azikiwe, Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, and Sahar Madubelo, the Sodana of Sokoto. <laughs> there is a sense, uh, therefore, in which these individuals started recognizing that having been enslaved, having been colonized, we now had to liberate ourselves. And the agitation started. And Kwame Nukuruma and his Ghana acquired independence in 1957. And I still can hear Kwame Nukuruma through the vicissitudes of time saying in Accra, Ghana, that Ghana is free and will never be colonized again. But the freedom of Ghana means nothing if the rest of Africa is not free. I can hear... Yes. The freedom of Africa. They say if one man is free and the others are not free, no man can truly say that he's free. Because the freedom of one is dependent on the freedom of all. And we're not going to stop. We're not going to stop. No way. So, we want to play this one. This one is kind of disturbing. 
it's very disturbing. So, but we still go and play it because you need to be disturbed. <laughs> you need to be disturbed. Okay, here goes. This man have a museum, the man. It's unbelievable. One of the time I try to figure out, suppose he must sell it, he could have find some money for buy it and bring it come to Jamaica. But we start to hold like a museum still, but I tell you, horrible using the babies as bait for the alligators. Black babies. You think them easy. And enough things we don't know. Enough things we don't know where you happen. If only we knew what we knew now, if we only didn't knew it then. But you see, we don't know, say, where we know now is movement. Movement. We have to move. We have to move a state of consciousness. We have to move a state of spirituality. And we have to define it in ourselves. You see, where we know then and where we know now, we should have been able to liberate yourself and free yourself. But some of we are going like we are idiot. Yeah, man. Some of we really are going like we are idiot. How oh, long? How oh, long? Yes, you know, so we're going to take some phone calls. So, if you want to call and talk with it on your mind, now is the time to do it. And we're going to have a play as so now. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. We don't know which one we're doing now. Uh, all right, make sure we're going as so now. We have to find out we're going to play seriously. Uh, wait there. All right. Make us start with this first before somebody call. All right. Line it up. For several years, the Israeli government was forcibly administering birth control to a segment of its minority population, with doctors injecting Ethiopian Jewish women against their will with a contraceptive, Deprovera. But it wasn't until this January that a government official finally acknowledged it. One investigative journalist who interviewed 35 Ethiopian immigrants found that they were being intimidated and threatened into taking the shots, while being told that they were merely inoculations. But many speculate it was all part of a deliberate attempt to restrict an expanding minority in the country. You see, over the last two decades, Israel has experienced a significant influx of Ethiopian immigrants. But they're now being close to 130,000 living in the country. And while the government has finally put an end to this inhumane, insane population control tactic, the story has shed a light on a dangerous contraceptive that's now being pushed and administered on women of color all over the world, including right here in the U.S. So here to talk about the use of Deprovera and how this is targeting minority populations in both here and abroad, I'm joined now by Randy Short, President and National Spokesperson for the Anti-Deprovera Clergy Coalition. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. So, Israel allegedly put, put this to an end. Um, can you talk about the, what you know about the health effects, though? Because obviously women were being administered this for years without yes. knowing about them. Well, the drug was first patented in 1959. By the middle 60s, there were a lot of unethical experimentations done, in particular the Grady Clinic study in, in Georgia on poor black and poor white women. God knows how many people died. Uh, this drug did not get approved until 1993-94, but during that time that was used on women all over the effects of it are serious. Excessive bleeding, osteoporosis, breast cancer, cervical cancer, heart attack, stroke, ectopic pregnancies, uh, excessive weight gain, which can lead to type 1 or 2 diabetes, short or long-term infertility, maternal death. Uh, it strips the epithelium, the inner part of the woman's womb, making her more susceptible to all STIs and STDs. Therefore, doubling the chances of getting HIV, AIDS, chlamydia, HPV, gonorrhea, or syphilis. And there are other things that bothers the mental health. Uh, one of the things that's come to us, that uh, the group that I work with, the Rebecca Project, is that many women are telling us that they've had mental problems. Uh, the 
FDA in 2004 was so concerned about the dangerous nature of Depo-Provera that they issued a black box warning, which is the most serious warning that can be issued by the FDA about how dangerous this drug is. And despite this warning, this black box warning, it's still been administered under multiple agencies to multiple countries around the world. Yes. Who is administering it? Why? And where? Well, it's being used... Uh, Primarily in non-white countries, so Muslim countries, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Burma, possibly on the Myanmar minority, all over Africa, uh, Central America, and Latin America, and of course the United States, depending on whose information you look at, it's disproportionately used on African American women. Who's doing it? Planned Parenthood is one of the big purveyors of it. In addition to that, you have the Population Council, you have the International Federation of Planned Parenthood, you have a lot of persons and groups that have a, a Malthusian view that there are too many people and therefore they want to reduce the population. They know this drug is deadly, it's cheap, and it makes huge profits for the parent maker, which is Pfizer. And USAID is also one of the yes. agencies as well. For 47 years, it's been an unofficial policy of the uh, USAID Office on Population to use or to send abroad dangerous, unsafe, untested, or unapproved drugs. And, and you said that this has been obviously disproportionately affecting minority populations. Yes. If they know that it's deadly, why? Would they be administering it to minority populations? I mean, what is really this all about here? There are too many non-white people. If you look at a gentleman by the name of Dr. Ravenholt, who was head of the uh, USAID Office on Population from about 1966 until 1979, he was able to first convince President Johnson that it was in the national and commercial interests of the United States that one-fourth of the women and the developing world be sterilized. So there's some sense that if there are too many black or brown people that somehow their needs will conflict with the capitalistic and imperialistic aims of the United States and its allies. And there's been multiple lawsuits against Pfizer for the detrimental health effects from this drug, but they seem to be getting away with it and, and seem to keep, you know, direct-to-consumer advertising. Well, how are they doing this? Well, they're making a lot of money. The U.S. Department of Justice has sued them in the last 10 years and fined them about $6 billion. But if you're making billions and billions, it's the price of doing business. But you have to understand... The people that are being steered towards this drug are poor, they lack uh, education and legal representation, and they're being tricked, so they don't know. Now, you have to understand, they, uh, Pfizer lost in Canada, they've lost in Europe, but they go to countries where they can't be sued. You can't sue from Nigeria here, uh, you can't sue from Mozambique here, so you can go to countries where you either have a corrupt government structure, or they're coerced, or should I say they've constructed manipulated into having this drug as part of their international foreign aid. Do you see what I'm saying? So the women are become just chess pieces in a Malthusian eugenics game. And so you think this goes beyond just a co corporation making as much money as it can, pushing it on, on as many people as it can. You think yes. it actually goes down to, this is a modern day form of eugenics. I would and say. genocide, yes. And it's happening here in the U.S. as well. Well, that's very uh, shocking, and we'll definitely follow up with this story. Uh, very disturbing. And thank you so much for coming on. Right. Thank you for your time. Randy Short, President of National Spokesman. And I'm with the Rebecca Project on Human Rights. Absolutely. All right, thank you. So thank you. All right. And that drug is in Jamaica. And when we talk, people say it's conspiracy. But look at what is going on now. Because when we talk about these bishops that is held in America, 301 of them for abusing over 70 years, 1,000 odd children, and that the highest level of the Roman Catholic Church knew about it, but cover it up. And now we see them going, to, they're investigating the Pope. <laughs> I say, I tell you, we talk about news. We're investigating the Pope for cover up the abuse of the children them by these bishops. 
unbelievable. Well, not unbelievable still, but you know them way there. Things are come up to bump, and them kind of way there. It come. Things are come up to bump. So we continue as we say. We are take some call, and we are play these things until we hear the call come in. Yes. One thing that keeps me puzzled, despite having studied finance and economics at the world's best universities, the following question remains unanswered. Why is it that 5,000 units of our currency is worth one unit of your currency, where we are the ones with the actual gold reserves? It's quite evident that the aid is in fact not coming from the West to Africa, but from Africa to the Western world. The Western world depends on Africa in every possible way, since alternative resources are scarce out here. So how does the West ensure that the free aid keeps coming? By systematically destabilizing the wealthiest African nations and their systems, and all that backed by huge PR campaigns. Leaving the entire world under the impression that Africa is poor and dying and merely surviving on the mercy of the West. Well done, Oxfam, UNICEF, Red Cross, Life Aid, and all the other organizations that continuously run multi million dollar advertisement campaigns depicting charity porn to sustain that image of Africa globally. Ad campaigns paid for by innocent people under the impression to help with their donations. While one hand gives under the flashing lights of cameras, the other takes in the shadows. We all know the dollar is worthless, while the euro is merely charged with German intellect and technology, and maybe some Italian pasta. How can one expect donations from nations that have so little? It's super sweet of you to come with your colored paper in exchange for our golden diamonds. But instead, you should come empty-handed, filled with integrity and honor. We want to share with you our wealth and invite you to share with us. The perception is that a healthy and striving Africa would not disperse its resources as freely and cheaply, which is logical. Of course, it would instead sell its resources at world market prices, which in turn would destabilize and weaken Western economies established on the post-colonial free meal system. Last year, the IMF reports that six out of ten of the world's fastest growing economies are in Africa, measured by their GDP growth. The French Treasury, for example, is receiving about $500 billion year in, year out. The foreign exchange reserves from African countries, based on colonial debt, they force them to pay. Former French President Jacques Chirac stated in an interview recently that we have to be honest and acknowledge that a big part of the money in our banks comes precisely from the exploitation of the African continent. In 2008, he stated that without Africa, France will slide down in the rank of a third world power. This is what happens in the human world, the world we have created. Have you ever wondered how things work in nature one would assume that in evolution the fittest survives. However, in nature, any species that over, is overhunting, overexploiting the resources they depend on as nourishment, natural selection would sooner or later take the predator out. Yes. Because it upsets the balance. Serious reasoning. Serious, serious reasoning. Yes, Il. Il, Muta. Go get him, man. Man, I tell you, man, my ball, my ball, my ball, my ball, my ball. 
but grieve when me uh, you play that alligator baby thing a while ago. May I tell you one? May I tell you more? And you know, as you say, it's hard, it's tough, it's gruesome, but we have to play these things and let our people know these things. Because a lot of our people, them only here where just European Jews and other people, but and we, we, when we want them to hear some of them, these mm. things, them no want to hear about them thing there. Mm. You know? Yeah, but by God, the these by God. things where you're doing, it has to be done to remind our people of these racist devils as Malcolm X called them. See? Mm. You know, African babies you use as alligator bait. Yep. We know, you, you remember when we read Black Jacobins in Isaiah or James, or in Haiti, them would have put gunpowder in the bottoms of our and people and up. blow them up apart. Yeah. Yeah, and bury our African men, women, and children in Haiti up to their neck and then put molasses and honey and make the ants devour the people. Mm. Eh? The problem with it now is that we internalize it so much now that we start doing it to ourselves. Yeah, the, the, the self destruct the self destruction, yes. Right. But we have to reverse. We are tell you, don't stop playing them thing there because I know all our people will be lost and some of our people when you do them thing there will will, will will be educated to remember who we are and what we go through and so that we can say we will never make these things happen to we again. Never again. Because this is the, the education that we must draw from these things is that we must not allow these things that happened to our ancestors in the past to happen to us again. And that anyone in our African race who perpetrate them kind of thing must be dealt with severely. Mm -hmm. And you and others know what I mean by that. Yeah, I used to say, say, them deal with the youth them severely where supposedly they rape the little girl from Kinson Technical Lake. Man, it grieved me when Miss look and see the, 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 our school, Kinson Technical Lake. Eh? Yeah, them and then burn her to get rid of the DNA evidence. You know, that means them, that them she, she knew them, them, you know. I can't to she knew them. Hear, I can't to the news where I get you know, that them kill one of them and the next one in a, in a hospital a battle for life. So it's jungle justice reach them. Yes. You know? The, 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 the drunk of them, we do that. No, them words and drunk or drunk is a good word. We do that, man. No, we can't call them They know the little, the little girl, know them. I don't know, I don't know how to, as would have said, come do that. Mm. I found cool something at the same area ends. Well, they must show you the youth, them, you know. They must show you them, in you know. one clip I will have in front of me, you know. And they must show you one with, one with them kill. And then, apparently, him did not look the panacea at the DJ. Apparently, I can't do what I see, so apparently, him the panacea. And yeah. some DJ in Panacet, and after I'm done, them just shoot him. And the next one, they're in the hospital, I'm back for life, I can't do this. This report, yeah. Look what I'm done with, man. Send, send the clip to me, see him? Yeah. Send the clip to me. Next thing, too. Um, we, we, we just, the carnival just finished, not in Hill, it started in 1965, on the streets of. Uh, not Grove in a National yeah, Gate, yeah. West London, and despite the police and the other racists, them in a fight against it too, is an African-inspired thing from the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. It went well. That when you hear Scotland Yard, Scotland Yard, you know the police them say, then he held the National Carnival, a safe court, a safe and spectacular success. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. Right? Almost two million people come over the two days, and wow. you know, every carnival Monday when I'm around, we play mm -hmm. one large gully sound system, and again, it went well, you know what I mean? So, we're glad. So, when you hear Scotland Yard, who is part of the anti carnival, Rare, you know, through the African thing, so it's a spectacular, safe and spectacular thing, you must know. Mm -hmm. So, well done, and we just want to keep it the same way. And, I just want to say also to big up Light Parks for Bridging, you know, um, singer, songwriter, 
band leader because spoke to him the other day and him telling me that in January Mass Camp 2019 coming, they will celebrate at Mass Camp 44 years of the Wittenlight Parks and the We The People band, you know? Yeah. We are and going to Count Prince Prince Miller. Miller. We are going with um, Count Prince of England there. Eh? Right. Count Prince Miller, he passed away the same time there, Thursday the 16th of August, same day as Lady Soul, our Empress, the favorite woman singer from states, Arita Franklin, the same day, the 16th. Mm. Um, he had been sick for quite a while, you know, and, and, and knew that the last time I saw him was a few months ago when Andrew Onis, the Prime Minister, came and spoke at the cinema in Kilburn, mm. over in Northwest London, and I saw him and him looked shaky. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I knew that he was sick for quite some time, you know, cancer. Yeah, yeah. 84 years old, and he came to this country in 1964 yeah. as part of the Jimmy James and the Vagabond yeah, Band. You remember the classic yeah. tune, eh? Jimmy Come Jimmy to me softly. Yeah. Come to me softly. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah, man. Jimmy, yeah, man. Jimmy, Jimmy, I'm a bridge into one thing, man. So, um, from what I understand, there is going to be some memorial service, but it will like, it, it seems like there will be a cremation and him ashes, mm -hmm. you know, remains yeah. in a GAE and thing. But I'll keep you posted with that concern. Yeah. And Count Prince Miller is a man who always proud to tell me same come from St. Mary. Yeah. So big up all St. Mary people, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yes, you know? yeah, man. Yeah. And... Talking about reggae, 50 years of reggae this year. You know, I remember distinctly when the reggae dance, which is imitating Jackie Mitu's organ shuffle, September 1968, when we had come from school, I killed from Kingston Technical High School, and left 82 and over street as we all do, and come down to East Queen Street and go over upon the left hand side, we gate to the central upon the other side, mm -hmm. and we are walk. I remember then you saw the upstairs, Mutam, you know, if you remember, a upstairs where music used to play, and when you are walk past, look before you reach Mark Lane, you can see, the, the, you can hear the music, and you see the, um, the people in the club upstairs that dance and things, like dance, dance, dance from it. early in the afternoon. A barber shop used and they must do the reggae dance. We forget the name of the club there, you know. May I ask if a barber shop is down and eating? No, I can't call Jones Barber Shop. No. Um, maybe a barber shop was underneath it, but it's not where Jones is there. Yeah. I look further on, look before you reach Mark Lane. Uh, upstairs, you, you, you know them club when you look, you can see it, it, it exposed up top. Yeah, I know. And you have some railings. Yeah. Next September, because it's September 1968, that the reggae dance. Just bust out with the people they might imitate the organ show for the Jackie Me Too come with. Yeah. I remember when me I walk past coming from Kingston Technical Day, me I hear the Bob and the Let Them Say and to Experience, mm. the Larry and Alvin, um, Good. the um, Nanny Goat and the Cables and Baby Why. You know, me remember that. I'm big up to my brethren Roddy from out of Windward Road who I him first tell me say, the, they have a new dance, you know, the reggae, you know, I say, oh, let's go, and him show me, you know, yeah, so yeah. big up Roddy, from O'Connor, yeah. out of Jackson Road at the time there, and Winrod Road, near Holy Road, the church, and right. I want big up all of the man them from Central Kingston, you know, yeah. um, Cool Walks, uh, Eva, um, and Percy from James' Street, singer and songwriter, Jackie Paris, Sensations, we in contact with Jackie, Jackie Paris. We talked to him just a couple of days ago, man. Jackie, I'm a brethren, man. Yeah, we, we, we GMC, Sensations Group. You know, them, 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 them tuned there. Yeah. You know, All right. for real. Well, well, I'm big up to Raymond from Wild Street, you know, the Dunkirk, you know, the Dust. Yeah. Give thanks, we have to move. Uh, Yes, yes, give, give thanks. Blessed love. Feel Irish. It is the cutting edge. And RFM, before I forget, very disturbing video. Brian 
before him left here, in the 10 at our oh, o'clock, you know, 1 o'clock, nearly 1 o'clock. In the 10 o'clock, I wonder if there is a, there is a war against women, specifically, like, when I say women, now we are talking about young girls, big women. It's like, is there a war against women? I go on. Because Brian showed me a video earlier on in the night where apparently a woman ride a bike and on a on, on, on manly life and a police man lick her with a car. And the woman drop on the road. If you ever see the police woman, if the policeman and the woman in a rasta. And you know the weirdest thing? That. Like all me, I know. If me did dead, they would have jumped in at them, would have shoot me. But I couldn't really stand up there and watch that I go on and just not do nothing about it, you know. If you ever see how the man hang the woman on the ground, so me know, at tomorrow news that again, you know. Tomorrow news. At tomorrow news that. And him dip on the video. The thing with these things nowadays, which is, which is wonderful, is that Right as it happened, you can video it as evidence, as proof. The man, an angry woman, from the ground, draw and throw against it, the side in the way them use and separate the road there, the concrete thing where them use separate the road. And no, Rasta, uh, rough. Matter is, we are internalized the, 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 the pain and the suffering and the wickedness and the cruelty. And unleash it by myself. Yeah, man. Unleash it by myself. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I wonder what will be the news tomorrow when people wake up and see this video here. Yeah, I circulate on Mandela Highway. The policeman, I can't tell me I hear. Apparently, the policeman must say a, a, a speed and a siren and do man a ride, come on, and him touch you, man, by and drop her on the ground. The man draw her and fling her. <laughs> me I tell you. Me I tell you, Rasta. Uh, police, watch what I'm doing now. Hey, I don't to continue them with it. I expect people to no ball out say in farm after dead. I don't to continue that way when I don't expect the people to say I'm blind or hear and deaf, Rasta. Because if you cannot treat a woman up on the ground, I mean, a woman up on the ground, you are drawn on the ground, you know, Rasta. Where them people come from? Where them, where them people come from, Rasta? So we are going tomorrow now when the whole Jamaica wake up and see that now. And all them prime minister people and things. Crime, crime. I tell you, I tell you, if me did out there, they would have shoot me. If me did out there, they would have shoot me, Rasta. I tell you, you know, your mother get shot. What them call it, um, what them say, yeah, 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 when police are trying to do him work, you're going, you're going involved in him work. <laughs> no, Papa, mm. you, have, you have lawless people over there, so. Without uniform, I do things for people, terrible things. And the people them who are supposed to uphold the law over here, so I do the people them terrible things. So where the people them must turn? Where the people them must turn? We don't know. It's a terrible thing. It's a terrible, terrible thing. Yes, ill. Good night, Motel. Good night. Pleasant uh, night to you. Um, you know, it's a, I must congratulate you on the wonderful work you are doing. Good job. Yes, because all these years, I talked to you already, but I never called you pro your program. And you are doing a powerful job. Thank you. And I wish a lot of people could really take time out to listen, because that is how you learn. You know, I can't come feel any better to hear that they catch that guy that um, killed that young lady every day. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me, Luther? I can't do what I hear, yes. You know, I feel so good. I was hoping that the police were holding. You know why? You see when them hold them? 
then tell them they lock them up and see them and in a couple months time then get away and then go out there and create more problems. Yeah. Well apparently the people then take it in at the line. And that is not fair to us. Yeah. But you say it's, 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 it's about three since that since that they could not get raped, you know, a three woman dead vicious you know. And there was a young lady that was running with trans Eh? Yeah, the same little one there that they kill and burn her body and the remains, they find. No, yeah, this are the one, yeah, I don't want to wait to about now, I said, since that happened. Yeah. There's three more women yesterday and the day before happening now. Mm-hmm. Me here, we're talking about them from night. Me here, from night, I'm here listening, you know, because I can't sleep at night when you are, yeah. when you are on the program, you know. But the one in Manchester, you know, you're the one in Manchester. The lady that they are, they, they, they kill her, the killer, the killer's son, eh? the one with the son, and she? Yeah, a man, yeah, a man look like him is a deacon or something like that. He cut mm-hmm. her and put her in a one cooler, in a one, what them call that something there again? When you go out and you put people in there. Oh yes, a cooler, they call it, man. Yeah, yeah, a big one. A cooler, they call it. Him put her. And then the next one... You have a next one to where happen with, 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 but I mean, can't remember that, I mean, it's a terrible it's disgusting, man. It's very really disgusting, and as, as you were saying a while ago, you better have something against women. I mean, I tell because you can hear him mentioning something about police again. Yeah, the police, from Mandela Highway, the woman had, apparently the woman arrived, and he might, he might come on, and he touched the woman by, by his crash, she dropped off, you know, and the woman, yeah. It look like him vexed to him did have yes. to go and, and the old man go stop him now. The man yes. draw the old man from the ground after the side of the side of the side of the No, there was something there was something to laugh over, you know, but they tell you, something happened with these people in the right mind. Well, well, they couldn't in a right mind, man. A wrong mind, that man. Nobody can do that, man. I mean, I mean, it's vicious, man. Vicious, vicious. So it's you can't so the old man from the ground, so. You can just imagine when him find all a little youth where him feels that he didn't do something and really not do nothing when he would do. Yes, because there's no humanity in the heart of love, God, you know, God, God, God. you know that too. Man, man. Vicious, vicious. So love me did that again. Vicious. You understand? Vicious. And these people, they just do things and they don't think. Yeah. I you understand? Minister, when the minister, when the minister, national security, see this thing here, right away, I mean, like, this is this is this is something else, man. This is something else, bro. This is strange. Something else. Terrible. Terrible. Oh, Jesus God. Mm. Why will you know that something has to be done? Something and do you know the law? You know? And we're more days than the law for all of this. Because these things keep happening over and over and oh, over wow. again. And if there, was a, if there was a penalty, talking about a stick penalty for all of these things, it would continue in the motor. Yeah. It would continue. It, it become a norm. So that it do as they like because they know that they can just go lock them up and then, then come back yeah, out yeah. and then get a lawyer and, they ha- and that's where it stop. Yeah. And police can't can go, things. Things can't go against the man. Anyway, you thank sister for call. Yes, Mika. So you take good care of yourself. Yes. You understand? You take good care of yourself because I tell you that the vampire is out there, you know. I tell you, man. The vile vampire, you know, you suck out your blood, you know, you know, you know, you know, you stand up your light, you know. Yeah. Every day we pray for you in the motor. We go and pray. We pray for me and see if you just guide you yeah. continuously because, you know, tell you, say, when you speak out like that, nobody like you. Man, the man catch up a couple months about over here, you know. Eh? Yeah. Yes. Where am I saying that? The man say not like you because you're too biased. So, listen, listen, man, he does, if, if you don't listen, you're going to learn. Yeah. If you listen to what the man has said, and try to help yourself, and read for yourself, and try to understand, and look into what the man has said. Mm-hmm. You can't just tear the man down. Yeah. But you know, some of us are very ignorant, you know? Yeah, yeah. And before we take time out to listen and learn, yeah. we, t- we take time out to tear them on one another. And that is, that is the norm now. You understand? Once you have gone in the right direction, and that's, that is how they are, they tear it out. Yeah. You understand? But you know, yeah. I love seeing you, you know? Yeah, I really. Take good care of my motor. All the best. Have a great night.
Bill Motor Baroka. All right. Blessed love, Motor. So much things going on at this moment. We are for start. Yeah. But, as I say, keep up the wonderful work, but yeah, it's yeah, Motor. Well, I am always listen to the man. <laughs> God, the man, keep I and I. See and certain way, I'm a guy and I know that there's work, you know? Yeah. There's too much people in our system think that there's no hope. Because we have an education, we have an education, education our system, we are working exactly the way they want it to work. You understand, man? So we change as African people, that is Jamaica, yeah, we have to change education our system for us. Change the education system for us, because we are educating the people to everybody who wants to leave Jamaica. Yeah. You know this, God. Everybody in check wants to leave Jamaica. All police want to leave Jamaica. And some of them are jumping out of the fire, and they're in a fire, too. Yeah. I, 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 I don't understand it. And at the same time, Muta, the people is not understanding it. When you come to these places, the, gear, the people don't like us here. But that me say, yeah, why am I jump out a frying pan and I jump in a fire? And them don't understand that. And you know what? You see what I'm telling you for them motor. Mm. You see when some of them go to Obama and left Jamaica, they fall in Moka, Jamaica and come and fire. No, they not nah, tell the people. They not nah, tell the truth, you know. Mm. So then, then paint a picture like say things rules and then the next one do the same thing and when he jump in the, the same thing and then nah, talk the truth. No, no, no. Because of that. You yeah, understand? Because a whole heap of people in Jamaica that come and find come live some part of life worse than what they used to do by Jamaica. Watch a man. I know some of my bridges, I know my bridges in them, I whole heap of my bridges in them, well, when I come back to Jamaica. We see all them that go there in the beginning. Them yeah. today and can't come up because it's like they don't have no passport again. The passport expires. Mm-hmm. So, and some mm-hmm. criminal activity reach them. And them start a family over there. And the family yeah, broke up. All that madness are going on. Them want to come back and yeah. can't come back. Them get old. Get, it's like them in a jail. Mm-hmm. And then them think they know. And them think they are destroyed. Oh, a little society. Because what you know. A man, a man, a man there, Jamaica. And in here, see a link to go a fire, and he just goes up and call somebody from me who he was. So, he gets a link to go a fire, and he can't come pick me, watch him pick me, I think. Mm-hmm. So then, the pick, and then the thing will deteriorate, and then we'll destroy the community, and yeah. the person, the yeah. person will yeah. put that pool to them thing together. God! Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, they're going to look better. And the better is not really there. And we not, and the thing we may not, may not understand is not for our little Jamaican people. We just keep it like low. We're not watching big news and see what go on. And not for them, they never watch news in a motor. No, sir. Then they don't watch no news, all them, and then they put them social media, all them are do is just a see this, this entertainment and this yeah. Kardashian and these dance all this and dance all that and dance all and uh, 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 daggering and then eat that thing there all this all little police then when you see I go out them thing there in a mood that look they don't understand you know they don't understand because you have police people when you tell me so they just want to let Jamaica for the better themselves a fire yeah and come off come off Jamaica and I come do some things where I come you know, and then they know, say, you do a fire, you work. Any work, we do a fire. So, make the money, you have to work. Uh, if you have the same work at Jamaica, you have to come here, so come work harder, so make a money. Yes, yeah, so work have harder, work, man. As a guy, you're watching dollar. Some of them, you know, they have three work alone. Ah, and like that, you tell them, and them do that, understand that. Mm. You know what I mean? But this, this, I make struggle with me, I live, I know that man dream. Can you see a mix man of two and three K or whatever then for argument see? Mm. You don't know the man they're doing. No? Yeah. Sometimes the man they're not the honest with, with you and tell you when though. Yeah. But you are uh, of it and you don't know it. So yeah, leave the man the dream. So I gotta destroy the people yeah, and the yeah, man leave know somebody to the life. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, leave somebody in dream. You know what I mean? Nobody knows how to simplify their life. Yeah. And like that can destroy, but we have a system that destroy the place, Mota. Can I tell you, say, Mota, I'm there in foreign, and I have a little sister, Jamaica, where I head 
you know what I mean? She had she a uh, uh, head up on her and nobody not there for dealing with her. Never one brother there, there but one somebody can hold her. We call me. They must call her authority from the other day and you know them I uh, yesterday them come and take her and but keep my brother care and then they are a little light to us and medication. I feel so much like the people have seen me. But the thing is we have to find people in a Jamaica where love Jamaica most or want the society to better. Because we can make Jamaica better and we live a peace the life of Jamaica more that we come and find, come and do some things where we don't want to do. Mm-hmm. And where we, 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 you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. some people come and find, come and struggle more, but people come and find, come and do some things and everything. I mean, and then they take pictures and put on social media like them and live large. Yeah, yeah I know that. <laughs> them things, you know. Milka, you, you see, you know, if you really see Milka, you yeah, alone me that talk certain things. And you see, Donald Trump has tried to talk to with we we I talk about South Africa. I yeah, for really, you have the undergraduate you know, on the year, I look certain things, yeah. and I have respect you, I have respect Kabuto. Yeah. You know what I mean? I so like you know the respect. We have to move. So, uh, but there's a big up all of these kids from Farabar, you love, star, everybody, I love, I mean, big up yourself. Big up. I will never tell you, you know, say, by downtown Kingston, light up again, you know, I mean, any given time, long a Victoria Pier there, them refurbished the Victoria Pier, and enough excitement at night time, well, you know, say, as of this Sunday, we are come, we are going up there, you know, we are going up on the top floor, Ska, rock steady, reggae, old time dance hall music. You name it, we are gonna play it, Jamaican style. So we are telling one of them this Sunday we are gonna start Rhythm Sundays, right up on the pier. We don't want to call it Victoria Pier. <laughs> it's just amazing that when me a youth, me used to dive up money down there. Yes, we used to skull school, and when the tourists them come and throw the money. But them days you could have see this, you could have see the money and run right down at the bottom of the water. When you, when you touch the water, you just dive in. Merkel Bank, the building, the moment you go on up there, we used to the government, some government building, I go build this so. up. Couple building well. Sunday we down there, well, not long a Merkel, not long a Victoria Pier, but Herbie Miller, the reggae museum there. They might play vintage, well, ska and rock steady. You have a place down there named Swiss, the Swiss bar there where I never even know that there they saw. Whole heap of youth in there and enough niceness are going on inside there. So, well, we are going to help with the niceness now. We got, you know, so we used to be at West Street where we got more long now where the excitement, they right down in the heart. You can't go no further. Top floor. Them call it Ocean 7. Downtown nice again. So we just make the people them know that from this Sunday and every Sunday we are going down there. And if we're not down there, we get somebody to play them too. Okay. Music like this. For those of you who know the music, we're going to start. We're going we're to venture in all of the, the music them with Jamaica can make. All of them. Whether it's soul, whether it's disco, whether it's ska, rock, steady. All of them. All of them. Vintage style, them call it throwback, like this. Related birthday to Bersa Man Man, may I tell you? Victoria Pier, <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> we call it Rhythm Sundays, as of Sunday, yeah, man. Yeah, Oh, you the man. You call him back. I bet your Baba Brooks make you call back. <laughs> Where they? You got? Where they, man, Dingo? Yeah, no, we just have to celebrate. Um, Chucho, celebrate our singer, favorite singer, Alton Ellis, 80th birthday anniversary this Saturday, the 1st of September. I pity you know they are jumping here, come on, to come down at the pier, if you see where I go on down there, man. The place look different from where you live here. No, no, me get some pictures, man. First, in my bridges from Jimmy Street, send me, man. It look crisp. I hear what? You know, no Victoria Pier. No, Mark no, up no, no, no. Pier, it name. I want to tell you, you know, 
as Marcus uh, Garvey Parrot name. No, wait, no, I can tell you something. You see when mm. uh, you see which part we are going to play? Mm. Go up on the step. There is a big yes. them blow up a big picture of Marcus Garvey when they that come off of the boat. And the yeah, when they deport him. Yeah. And it, it, the Virgin put a big picture of him there. So, so you know say. Yes, we don't, we don't really want to call it the Victoria Pier, but I don't want to call it Victoria Pier, but... I no, no, but here, we, we, we Africans, uh, me and you and Ting and Ting, a Marcus Garvey Pier with name, and it's and it, and it, and it, official with the name, for a plaque and thing, yeah, Marcus Garvey Pier, no Victoria, yeah. racist Victoria, you know them, none of that. You know, them are going to um, them are unveil a statue of Miss Louise Bennett. Up a uh, um Garden Town, right at the square. They might put a mark. Uh, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, we see you today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear about it? You hear about it? Yes, yes. Yeah, they might have a uh, they might unveil a statue. Up there, I think on the seventh of September. That, 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 that is good. But, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know this. But for many years, she grew up as a girl living in Spanish Town. You know, near to the courthouse. You know, yeah. her father did have a business, and her mother was a dressmaker and thing. Louise Bennett. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. So she deserved, she deserved that without a doubt, more than deserved. But a Marcus Garvey Pier right, and sir. keep right. promoting that to Muta. Yeah, Marcus man. Garvey Pier, no Victoria, and my father Earth Strong at the fourth of September too. And Marcus Garvey Jr. Bert birthday too is in at this September year too. Mar yeah, our Marcus yeah, Garvey yeah, Jr. Yeah. from Kingston Technical. All right, sir. So when when you can, if you dare Jamaica, meet with Dunga the Pier. All right. No, definitely. I'm going to play some tune Dunga the Pier too. Me, I'm going to play some yo, tune. Yo, 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 yo. Here we are, you know. When I, I don't know. <clears throat> discography and lecture thing, you know, party thing we are dealing with. Party. Yes, they're not party, man. They're not DJ. Sound system DJ. No, we don't say DJ, but you have a way if you attack the history of the song. <laughs> Where no, man. The of the song. No, we do different things to different things. No, you say <laughs> different to different things, man. From that, man, we just make the rhythm them run, man, All without right. no commentary. All See? Right, Give thanks, yeah? Original style. Yes. See? Yeah, Marcus Garvey Pierre. So please, it on Sunday. Yeah, Muta. Hello. Yeah. yeah, man, yeah, 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 man, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Yeah, but what I mean for you is that the radio burn off and coming out of the door, is the phone or the radio? Do what? The I don't know if it's the phone or the radio going off and coming out sometimes. No, I don't know, but you better leave me, I hear you good, me, I hear you good. But, yeah, 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 I'm good. Mm. All right, Muta, yeah, yeah, me want you listening. Eh? You remember, come down, you come down, uh, Marcus, you have a um, celebration, eh? Don't, uh, yeah, don't, uh, yeah, don't, uh, I was the person that said that I have been... Formula, right? Formula, you remember formula, that? formula for what? For the thing out of where we are going with the African in a Jamaica nowadays. Eh? What is the formula for what? Tell me. What? What, what going on in Jamaica with the, with the African? Then? Where, where the African them go through all the struggling and all the killing and all them things. All right, so what is the formula you have for, for the world to stop that. it? Listen me now. Why you listen to you? Me I listen to you, man. But I don't have much time because the program is so done. So I tell you, what is the formula well, you it, have? It, that's what I want to say. Mm -hmm. But she and I just do this, say this thing and just end it just as a, on a one program. One oh, and it's a continuous thing. I deal with one build a foundation, begin to build a foundation of it. Mm -hmm. Liberate the African in a Jamaica. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Because I want to answer this question, Mota. No, no. Tell me what is the formula you know, where you say you have? Then I tell you, say, I know just something for me just step on the radio. But just you like just that. call and tell me, say, you have the formula, so where, where, where yes, you check but we have to work on it, we have to get more time, more time, we sit down and... But how many know me I work on it, you know where I work? What is the formula where you talk about? You say a formula, formula, you know, you have a formula, so I ask you, what is the formula? So you get rid of the crime and the situation... Oh, you're going to get rid of it, oh, you're going to get rid of it, oh, you're going to get rid of the crime. The listener will listen to just give no, listen, me a listen, man, listen, 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 listen. Yeah, but you don't have much time, bro. All right, go on, talk, talk. But that's what I say now. You see, this thing, you see, even when we are coming, mm. even better than music, because we have music just so long, mm. right? Mm. We all know about music, but we don't know about this thing, what I'm coming with. All right, because so what is the thing where you are these things to the African, to the African, them. Like what? Like, like what? what like what? what? Like what you're not, them not highlighting, are you going to highlight right. it? What? Firstly, firstly, listen me now. Can you tell me what the meaning of democracy? 
No, look here. Don't ask me no question. Just tell right, me listen, what is well, the listen, farm listen, listen, listen. Yeah. Democracy mean, you see? Yeah. Mark them daily. Yeah. And you just said a while ago how the, how the policeman do the woman on the road, right? Yeah, but that's a damn foolish attack. That's not yes, really listen, not democracy. This, that is not the, the meaning of democracy. That is not the meaning of democracy. every day. That is not the meaning of democracy, but I want to know the family where you have. Where you tell me say you have for free black people, don't you have to forgive them stop right. the crime. Don't tell me the meaning of democracy. Yeah. No, I'm digging it from where Marcus Gavi left it, man. Because a lot of us only doing the talk and not doing the work, man. If we don't do the work this time, we have to do, man. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? No, I'm not we understand what I'm We want to do the work, more, more walking. Because we are late. We are, okay. we are backward by far. You understand me? You see what I say? That's why I want to come together and have a, a meeting and discuss how we are going to go forward. Because there is a way forward, but nobody not highlighting it. So highlight it, no bridging. Let me hear what you say, man. Highlight it. Then that me assure you now, listen, how we are going to do now. We have to print up some flyers and things and send them on to the people them that don't nah, penetrate. Some, some of the Africans can't. Read the English language, you know that. They will not do it on the radio, yes, so man. We're not putting no flyers. We're not putting no flyers. What I'm talk. saying to you, you yeah. see, listen yeah. now. Yeah. You see, these people that listen on the radio, yeah. you see, those people that making the difference, they're not listening. Oh, you know, them not listening. Oh, you know, them not Trust me, they're not listening. They're not listening, Bridget. They're not listening. You see, the GLT and the PNP, you know, that's the champion. Look here, you're not telling me the family. Just you listen, me now. No, but we have to listen, 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 listen. If we're not reason straight, you're not going to get it. No, but me no, 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 no want to reason with your brethren, because you're not telling me what you come to tell me about. You have to tell me, so you carry me gone over this and over this. I didn't leave the reaction of African people in Jamaica, I'm not talking about, man. Look here. But if you have to get an earring out of it. No, you want to know. You see the earring where you want? Mm-hmm. I know right, so you will get it, you know, you know. Maybe you have to go get that, you have to go pay for some, pay for some time on the radio station and have your own little program for 15 minutes or 20 minutes. All right, right. you know them things they want to get from the item. No, 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 no. you have to go call the marketing department and book the time and just come in and do your little half hour program. I just saw. Oh, all right. Yes. All right, sir. Yeah, me have to move. All right, motor. Yes. Yeah. Yes, motor. Yes, sir. Greetings. So, we call because I have uh, a few issues that, a few topics that we want. Yeah, but you see the few uh, topics now are work now them over the night time. Yeah, well, I mean, I make it quick, man. I make yeah. it quick, man. Yeah. I mean, that we have good words, so we have to be considerate to other people. Time. Right. So, one of them is, I came across a video last week where white people are literally putting on cosmetic masks of black people perpetrating and carrying out criminal actions. Oh, you yeah. are aware of that? No, which country am I doing that? In America, man. Oh, in America, there's this conspiracy you now that the reason why there is such a high um, surge of um, black people killings is because there's a possibility that some white police had put on the cosmetic mask to carry out these criminal actions. You know, okay. but them not put 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 them not them not put 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 them not them not put 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 them not only to know that the person who did it, his mom contacted the police authorities mm -hmm. and reported it. Yeah. Uh, she was the one that said she, well, she recognized the mask and everything since she was the one that purchased it for her son. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the next other question is, um, Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa. I'm trying to find out what is Julius Malima like what position does he hold? Because I no, thought he was the rightful leader of South Africa. No, I mean an next party. I mean an next party. We are look for. They might try boost up film party as the one oh, who okay. deal with land reform and really reclaiming oh, okay. the land for black people. So I have a very youthful um, following, especially yes. I have sweet one them places. Uh, Holy for youth, like where I say. Yeah. To take back the land yeah. and them see up there, and the government is willing to steal, you know. 
Because them can't yeah. really go on like say it not exists again where you have to reclaim for our land. So Malima is one of the biggest vice for that. Reclaiming okay, the land. Okay. 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 So still I'm not sure the same sentiment as him or what? Uh, they, they're not on the same oh, oh. path. Oh. Cyril Ramaphosa. Is he going to be re uh, running for re-election or something? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I just know, say, everybody have to jump on the boat now because it's something where Everybody in South Africa, especially the youth, them take it serious. Say land, you know. Okay. Buy and sell okay. is very important you know, right now. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, history has shown that during the slave rebellion, this kind of spread like a wildfire, like the Haitian Revolution and the Tapu Rebellion, and yeah. you know, across the Caribbean. So when I say this is probably going to be a modern day economic rebellion, if you know. Um, becoming the next lead and start to do land appropriation. You don't think other African countries might follow the same? Well, I guess so. I guess so. Why not hope that that happened? Because I see them demonize Mugabe because of that land thing. About yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't know they're not reaching that South Africa, you know, because Mandela never do nothing about it. All they might deal with yeah, is, no, is no. political, political, but the man, they must say, right now, yeah, yeah Mandela... Mandela business is Mandela business. Our business is land business yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and have it that a lot of people have it that white European countries are intervene, but we kind of big for opposed to that because when they tell me, I will hear you say one time say South Africa is a part of this block called the BRICS. BRICS. Yeah. So they probably the right move in this time and age to align themselves with some superpowers. Yeah, China and yes, Russia. And them, they say. Yeah, because yeah. Australia and them, Australia and them say they will take, take the white them, you know. Who, yeah. The, the appropriation of them land. The Australian government say, yeah, they will take some white people over there. So, we're going to see what happened with that, though. We're going to see what happened. Yeah, but you know, Seth, some part of the club threat towards South Africa yeah, 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 about yeah. this yeah. land appropriation. Yeah, That's yeah. why we have to, just in case, you know, America try to intervene, you know. Yeah, but you want, yeah, but you want the biggest the American thief the land from the Native American, them, you know. Mm. Them it's land, yeah. Them. yeah, Europe, them come from and come over to come take with the people them land. So the old yeah. them don't have no argument. Because them call people alien and them are the biggest alien. Anyway, we have to move, brother. Yeah. We have to move. No, my final time, my final time. Yeah. Recently we come across some new information. Revolution twenty two verse sixteen, right? Me not me are not really just that come on, but we walk proof to the Christian where them own by the so them in that chapter. Jesus asserts himself as the morning star. I mean, come in my own research, I find out that the same title is bestowed on a man named Lucifer. Lucifer yeah. Which in Latin means morning star. So look, right, I approach star. a Christian. Yeah, look, approach a Christian sister and say, wait, hey, isn't that a contradiction? But you know, have an answer to that. So we we'll all put that out to the Christians. We don't think about that. Yeah. The old Bible said Jesus, Jesus himself said it in an occupation. Yeah. Revelation 22, verse 16. Anyway, I'm um, Newton. Yeah, see you next month, I try. And yeah, man, also, tell him to check out this morning, Serapis Christus. So, right. Serapis Christus and Christ. Jesus, where they have in common. Yeah. That is a real work to the Christians. Yeah, read, anyway, yeah, read, read, yeah read up some things, man. <laughs> yeah, read up some yeah, things. Yeah, man, man. I like to tell you the ministry, then. All right. Research and yeah, research. give thanks. Yes, so everybody are disturbed. <laughs> After me forget say a birds have had birthday. I mean I could try and make up feet though. Everybody look like everyone disturbed birds have had birthday. When me I try make up feet. Birds have had birthday. What up here? Greetings. Sunday. Greetings Sunday. Yeah. Yeah come you know? Yeah. No, 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 no. Look at me good. Mr. Yeah come. Yeah. Yeah, your brethren. Yeah. And your mother. If you don't bring your mother, nobody will come, you know? No, no. no. I, I know the so child is, you know. If him not bring you, him can't come. Are you, I'm here to if you come in there. Okay. Don't not the fear, not the victory. No, I would have read that. Spotlight. A spotlight him name? Shine bright. A same name? I don't know if you want him down there. <laughs> 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 he can't come in with the mid-ball and your head, Rasta. 
Oh, I mean to come in with the med ball and your head. Not a terrible thing, man, like that, man. man come in with the med ball and I'm... So, anyway. You sure? And an ox? <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay, so you said, oh, give thanks to the moment and the time and energy. Give thanks, you know, as you say. I from Tuesday, we are going, so, you know, I from Tuesday, we are there, you know. No, man, I'm never there, I'm on the man. I'm on the man. Eh? Yeah, man. No, man, on Tuesday. I never do Monday. Tuesday, me do on Wednesday. I do Tuesday, Elise program. Today, Elise program. Tonight, Cutting Edge. Yes. Tomorrow, Stepping Razor. And again, we're gone to come back again. But Sunday, I our thing. Yeah, yeah our thing. So. Mommy, he might bring you, you know. You know, a long time he won't dance with that, you know. <laughs> a long time. One eh? One what one dance can do? You think, we don't know. And, 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 and birds have answered it, you know. Okay. So, yeah, what one dance can do. Anyway, give thanks. So, a later. A later.